Hey guys, Steve here from the Cook Family Homestead and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this rabbit nesting box for a large rabbit. Very easy and most important, very cheap. So all you need is one board, a one by 10, eight foot board. Uh, I have some scraps laying around, some one by 12, things like that. I'm gonna cut down and make it. But if you have one board, just an eight foot one by 10, that'll do the trick and then some screws. These are some drywall, one and five eighths drywall screws I have. So. Let me show you how to make this. I will have all the measurements in the description below. So let's get started. All right, I got the Admiral miter saw, the Delta miter saw stand, and I got my cobalt table saw. Love these saws, just on a side note. I did a review on all of these things. I'll put them in the description if you're interested, but these are phenomenal saws. I've put these things <laughs> through the ringer. Well, we are really getting some rain, so hopefully <laughs> the sound isn't too bad. But one thing I love about the Admiral miter saw that we have here is it is very, I love this uh, uh, laser it has on it. It's pretty accurate, and this table has been very square for me. It has worked perfectly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our two sides. On the sides of these are going to be 16 inches long. So we're gonna make two cuts. This is a hair over 32. So on here, I'm gonna mark it at 16. Then I'm gonna come on this side and mark it 16 as well. So the next cut is gonna be for the front. And we're going to make that five inches. So we're gonna have the front be five inches. Our next cut is going to be seven inches. And this is going to be for the top part. Our next cut is going to be the back, and that is going to be nine and a half inches. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take our sides here and you're going to measure, make two measurements on here. The first measurement, you are going to measure five inches from the bottom up. And you're going to make a mark on there. So you're going to mark that five inches. Okay? So five inches. Then you're going to come from the back here, if you can see. And you're going to come up along top, because this is going to be your top of your, your side. And you're going to come out eight inches. You're gonna mark that at eight inches, and you're gonna mark this at five eight inches. So eight and five. Then just take a little straight edge like this, and you're gonna put it where your eight inch mark is and your five inch mark, and you are gonna draw a line just like that. So this line is going to be from your nine to your five. And you're going to mark both of them. And you're going to make that cut as well. So let's get these marked and cut. Okay, so when you are ready to assemble, it's pretty easy. You're going to have your top, your back, your front, and your two sides. Now you have an option for the bottom. I am going to put a bottom in it. 
um, and I'll measure that and cut that as soon as I get this all put together. But this is very easy assembly. All you're going to do is put your back. And you're going to put your sides on the outside of this back, if you can see. And all we're going to do, like I said, is use drywall screws. So let's... You have an option as well to drill these if you want. Um, if you feel they're going to crack, this is some pretty soft pine. So I'm not super worried about it cracking, but you know, you, you know, it still could. <laughs> So here is our nesting box and what I'm going to do now is I am going to cut a bottom for it. So all we're going to do and need to do is have another one of our boards here that I have and I'm just going to measure in between here and it is 14 and about 14 and a half. All right, let's see how it fits. snug but I'd rather be a little snug than a little loose. Let's get a couple screws in the bottom there and then we'll tap that top over. a little sand so it ain't as rough. So there you have it. So that is a nice large sized rabbit nesting box. Very easy to build, very inexpensive. So just an eight foot one by ten will do the trick. Uh, your one by tens are about nine and a half inches wide or wide. So uh, just follow the dimensions. I'll put all the cuts down in the bottom. And again, very, very easy to make and uh, turned out really good. Use just uh, excess materials I had laying around. So there it is. So thanks for watching. Hope that helps you out. Take care. God bless y'all.